today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Hey guys, this is something pretty exciting I found the other day. It is VOIP or, uh, for the iPhone 2.0 and or iPod Touch. And it's just like the SIP VYP applications we used to have back in like 1.4 and 1.3. And what it's the same thing. It's called True Phone. Well, it's basically the same thing. It's not as good. It's called True Phone right down there. And you you can get it from the App Store, believe it or not. And it is meant for the iPhone, so you can have cheap international calls. But if you download it on your iPod, you open it up. The first time you open it, for me, it said... Um, Oh, I, like, I believe you've downloaded this on an iPod, there's an error, you cannot use it, whatever. So you just had to close it. But if you did it the second time, I just kept tapping on it. And I don't know if it's just the second time or the tapping, whatever. It let me through, and you're going to set it up. I can't do it again, I can't show you because already, I already did it. And, but, okay, what you're going to do is, it says enter your iPhone phone number. And what you're going to do, all you're going to do is just put your normal cell phone number. The cool part about this VYP application is that when it makes a call, it doesn't just say unknown, like from an internet line. It will actually show up your phone number. So if you make a call on it, it'll actually come up with my phone number if I called you. And the only one of the only downfalls is the old VYP applications, they supported the, the built-in microphones from touch mods. This does not, it's not meant to have an audio inline working with it. So it does not work, or that's what's been reported to me. But once you get it working, all you do is just put your email in it. Oh, and after you enter your phone number, it'll make a call to you, and you have to make a PIN number, okay? And for me, it was easy. I just put the last four digits of my phone number. It has to be a four-digit PIN number. It doesn't accept 0000 or 1234. I tried. Um, but then it'll call your phone, and you, it's an automated number, and you have to enter your PIN, and that's what activates it, okay? And when you get it, it says, when it loads up, here, this is a phone, and you can type whatever, and it has contacts, favorite, recent, whatever. But right down there in the bottom, it says, your credit. When, when you first get it, it should say one. I already mistakenly typed the wrong number in and pressed call, so I wasted my one call. One dollar is one call for it, or whatever, how much it's supposed to be. And but it does work and it is good. You have to have Wi-Fi. It's an internet call. But the only problem is you have to like buy a plan for it, so so you can make more calls on it. I think. So you can go to the website. It's truephone.com. You might be able to buy more plan, more minutes, whatever. So you can make cheaper calls. But like I said, the downfall. You can't use your microphone. And. Well, that's about it. So, you guys can go ahead, go out and try it. Get it from the App Store. It's called True Phone. And have fun. See you later. Comment, rate, and subscribe.